We know that an aldehyde can get oxidized to form a carboxylic acid. And aldoses, which have an aldehyde group, can get oxidized as well. And when aldoses get oxidized, something else gets reduced. Aldoses, since they are easily oxidized, are known as reducing sugars. And actually, all monosaccharides are reducing sugars because they have a free anomeric carbon which is easily oxidized. Even ketoses, such as fructose, are reducing sugars. And some disaccharides are reducing sugars as well, and we'll look at disaccharides a little later. A test we can use to determine if an unknown sugar is reducing or known, not, is Benedict's test. And Benedict's test uses what's known as Benedict's reagent, which contains copper plus two, which is blue in color. In the presence of a reducing sugar, or a sugar that is easily oxidized, copper plus two gets reduced to copper plus one, and a brick red precipitate or solid forms. So Benedict's reagent is a way to help identify an unknown sugar because if the copper plus two gets reduced, then we know that it was in contact with a reducing sugar.